Hi everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts. I'm here today with a scrap project for you. I'm surrounded by book page scraps. All my scraps that I'd normally do a bit of collage with. A lot of like these single book pages. And the reason is I was just putting together a few pages for this journal I'm working on. It's a botanical journal. And yeah, I've got a lot of single pages like this. And I thought, hmm, I, I want to... I want the pictures on some of those. I don't want to have to turn them sideways. So this was the first one I made. Now I've got this book page here. I've just put a bit of washi tape on there to decorate it. And then I've just made a back page up for it from scraps. So I did that one. Then I did another one. There wasn't really any focal point on that. It's just a page made up of bits of scraps. And then I started another one. Then I thought, why aren't you filming this? So here I am. I'm filming it. So there's one part done. As you can see, I just need to do that bottom right hand corner. And yeah, I've just grabbed larger chunks from my scrap box. And that was one full page that I've used in the center. So yeah, let's just crack on and let's stick some bits of paper together. Together, <laughs> together, together. Yeah, we're together sticking paper. Oh, I'm using my purple glue stick because I like it. I didn't like it when I bought it. I thought it was the Elmer's Extreme glue stick that I like and it came and it was purple. But I've made friends with it now and it does have its use its uses and this is a very good use for it. Right, let's finish this one page off and then we'll start a fresh one together. So I just need something to go down there at bottom. Uh that was the top of that page. I don't like those alt roots and everything, so oof, that one's probably gonna get used that way around. In fact, no, the roots will be showing. Oh, I don't know. Let's cut it down a bit. Just make it nice and... Get rid of roots. That one's a bit wonky, didn't it, woman? We're not looking for perfection. Oh, yeah, I can use that now. I've got rid of roots. It's got a new bottom. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, this is why I'm using my purple glue stick. I don't know where to put the glue. So, I just want to make sure all them edges... We've got glue on so it sticks nice and then I want to make sure all can you even see me these edges have got glue on and there we go looks a mess all that purple everywhere doesn't it but are you sure you it does dry clear my kids were using it up for school until I thought oh yeah I can make use of that that's just not straight but I can trim it I can trim it before it goes in a journal so there we go, a Franken page. Now you can leave it like that. Or oh, what I have done is I've brought in my washi tapes and stickers. I've just got loads in a box to pull from. And yeah, you can put them anywhere you want. Now I think here is a bit that I've used a very thin book page there. So on this side, I think I'm going to put some washi tape. And I'm not going to take all day picking washi tapes, she says. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. That one looks nice. I don't want globe because I'm doing a botanical journal. I've got these from washi tape shop. I've got some here that I grabbed off Amazon. They've got some nice bot botanical looking bits in. Ooh, that looks good. It's more of a directional one that though, isn't it? You know, I'm just going to put a bit of that on the bottom just because. Just because I can. Just to make the page look a bit more interesting. And I'm going to burnish it with my bone folder. I tend to find your washi tape sticks down better when you do that. Come here, bone folder. I like that. I'll fold that bit over. So I've still not solved the problem of some on that thin bit, have I? <laughs> that's me make your mind up never I'm just going to trim that tape off just so it doesn't stick to anything I may still have to trim the page I don't know ooh beetles and beetles and bugs oh my you know what I'm just going to put one of these on I think yeah I mean, like I say, you don't have to decorate them up now because I know I'm doing a botanical journal. I can stick a few on. Right, this'll be good. My friend said, Cheryl, 
just do, just do that and they'll come apart. Just put your finger on, across the top and it'll come off. And it does. Thanks, Cheryl. Wow. <laughs> I were all ready to say, no, that doesn't work for me. Um, I'm going to put that near edge and I'm going to cut some of it off. There we go. Burnish, burnish. There we go. I mean, if this is a journal that you're then going to write in, you may want to gesso over these pages. You may not want to put stickers on like I'm doing. But I quite like that page now. Right, let's fold that in half. If you're not happy with how straight everything is, might recrease that. Come in and trim it. That, to me, that is going to be a perfect page in my journal. In fact, I'm going to put that one in. And then we can just go ahead and make some more up. What's the height like? It's a little bit tall, that. I don't want any taller than that. So let's just trim it a smidgen. I'm going to end up trimming some of that washi tape off if I trim at bottom. Let's trim at the top. Eee. Like I said, this weren't going to be a video, so I don't know what I'm doing, which probably isn't much different to usual, is it? You know what I mean? Right, like I think I want it that way as well. <laughs> I just do. And let's see where we're going to put it. I can put it near at middle width wise. Do -do. So you're getting a little flip through of this. It's not finished, it's just pages. Oh, I might want to pop it there. Oh, that's I'm going to sew that. I think that will just half a paper bag, it creased. So I've just stuck that on and I may just sew around the edge. So that, that's a maybe page at the minute. I think it might get gazumped by this page, yeah. You're now in there. Oh, I like it. Look at that. I like it. I'm happy with that. Once it's in the journal, doesn't it look so much better? Yeah, that's pretty. Page done. So let's crack on and do some more. Don't forget you. You, Yeah, don't forget you. So, yeah, I've done three pages. We aren't even really thinking much. So... I'm going to use this one. It's not the prettiest of picture, so I'm going to use this again for my centre part. The reason I'm starting the centre with a full page like this is, if you stick too many bits across that centre fold, you, it's going to get very bulky in a uh, spiny journal. So I'm doing a few like this. You can just do it as an A4 sheet and then fold it after. This is my preferred way at the minute. Right, what we've got here? That might be a bit too scrappy. What we've got here. Ooh, that looks like some more of that same road map I used. So I'm just going to grab your glue sheet, woman. I'm just going to glue a bit of that on there. I'm going to start in the middle this time. Yeah, perhaps. I'm just going to fridge this glue. It's not that hot here today. I think they said maximum temperature were going to be 20 degrees. Cover your Amazon devices up. Alexa, what's the temperature? At the moment, it's 19 degrees Celsius. Oh, 19 Celsius. Tonight, you can expect a low of 11 degrees. Oh, that'll be nice and cool, won't it? I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that. My thermometer, I've now got a thermometer from my craft room. Just to see, because I want to know, you know, when it gets hot out, how much hotter it is in here. It's 21.4, so we're looking at 2.4 degrees. And that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit, so we're not freezing to death. We've got to do a conversion. We work in Celsius in the UK. I think Europe do. A lot of places do. And a lot of places use Fahrenheit. Anyway, I have I've digressed there, and so I've gone off on world's biggest tangent. I think I might want to put a bit of that on. I don't mind that uh, page number either. I could do it that way. Ooh, skeleton code. Wouldn't that be good for a Halloween project? Yeah. <laughs> that one just got dumped. It got dumped. Right, I'm going to pop that one there, we think. Yeah, I like that. We don't need all of it. So, glue around the edges. And down. Yeah, this is very new and very random for me. I'm not doing any measuring. 
I'm not really, I'm not measuring anything, I'm not doing much cutting. I'm just randomly sticking bits of paper together. Does that look straightish? Like it would be, yeah, that's straighter. Yeah, that looks good. You can always trim it. You can always trim it. The other side looks good. All my edges were covered. Right, grab something for the top. I might have to get grab a bit more variety of book page. That's right. I did try and sort my full pages, but then oh, that's lovely. Lovely, lovely. What's this? That's another different dictionary page. That is a little bit thin, so that could go over the middle. Right. Yeah, I'm just going to put that there. Half a bit anyway. Whee! Right, so do, do, do. I mean, if you don't care at all what you're sticking together, you can go so much faster than this. I do overthink things. I overthink things less when I'm filming. But in general, I'm a bit of an overthinker. That, would that bit be, would that one be better? Would that one be better? Would it look better here? Would it look better there? Filming speeds me up. So I'll probably make more of these now I'm filming them than I would have done otherwise. So that is my one page. Yeah, I'm not going to decorate them all. I just want to get some pages together. I can hit kids out next door. <laughs> they've, they've got the trampoline out for summer. You know, I can't remember how old they are. This reminds me of when mine were younger. I want that roughly the same length as that page, but like I say, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be measuring it. Can't be measuring. Measuring's just for yeah, measuring's for people with too much time on their hands, isn't it? Yeah, that's my new motto. Measuring's for people with too much time on their hands. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put that on because I like it. Oh, it's not quite going to fit all the way down. If I pop it there, oh, it will. Might have to put something there to strengthen it. So rip that off, woman. Oh, what you done? Look at that. That's a nightmare now. Well, it's not. I'll put some washi tape on it. So glue all edges. And then glue all these edges. Whee! Dries lovely and clear this as well. And non-sticky, which I really like. So before I press that down finally. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? That's gonna make a nice page, bit of grungy coffee dyed. Oh we just need something else on there, don't we? What have I got? That's a different dictionary page, but that'll do. I'm going to glue the whole of that. I hope I'm in shot, in frame. Ooh, that just... <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> it's so purple. Purple is my favourite colour, by the way. You wouldn't know it from my crafting. The colours I use. So, I'm calling that another successful... Franken page, so chuck that one over there. I've got one here that I folded and didn't do anything with, and I know that's going to be too long, so I'm just going to rip it in half. And we'll make a Franken page with two separate pages. Me thinks you can even build in flips and flaps and flops. I like building a flippity flappity floppity with this one. Let's grab bottom half, rip back. Hmm. Yeah, I know I've said don't glue too many things double thickness on the seam, but yeah, it's me I roll up and break it if I want to. It's my rule and I can, oh no, don't sing. It's just not good when you sing, is it? Because you've just got no ear for it. You're not in tune. Only, only tell me you're going to be on the stage is sweeping it, woman. That's an old joke, but aren't old ones best sometimes? I mean, what's that looking like? Oh, yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. I'll just rub a bit of that off. So my idea here now is I can have a top flip out, but only at the top. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
a half page flip. Well, hey. Oh, that's nice with mushrooms. Oh, perfect fit. Perfect fit. Yeah, that's going to go there. Where is it? I can rip that in half and get two mushroomy pages out of that. Yeah. Also, if you don't have too much overlap, your pages won't be that thick, will they? Because if you don't do any decorating on these, you can just use them to put full page things on, ephemera pieces. You know, we make those things and we don't know where we're going to put them till after. So I'm just reminding myself which edges I want to glue. Yes, I'm, I have a memory that I can't even remember what I did before I turned the piece of paper over. Looks goodish. Goodish, goodish. So we've built in one little flip flap there, haven't we? Oh, now I've moved it. There we go, I'm happier now. Much happier. That looks good. That's going to be that. And I just want this page to be roughly that size. So I've snippered it down. Snippered. Snipped. Snipper in a word. It is now because I just said it. Is that how words work? I'm not sure. That's been inked already, so I don't want to use it. Ooh, look at that. I don't know what I've used the top of that page for. That's going to have to become a Franken page. Oh, I've got a bit here with... Oh, it's them roots that I didn't like. <laughs> I just don't like the roots. I don't know why there's something about them. They remind me of spiders. Because the roots are just not happening. I'll put a bit of that on. But we're not having any roots. Is it just me? Or does anyone else think roots look like spiders? It just, yeah. Let me go, yeah. I can't repot me on plants for that very reason. I've got three aloe vera plants in my kitchen that are desperate for repotting, but I will not be the one who does it because no. Just no. It's not caring. Right, what else we got here? I need to make a pile of rejects. You know when I go, oh, I don't want that. I mean, they're a bit thick, that's scrapbook paper. I can go in my scrapbook paper pile. That's too small. I don't want straw paper. I don't want that. Maybe a bit of straw paper. I've got a square bit. I'll do a little bit of straw paper. So I'm just going to rip that to make it fit. We'll have a straw paper bottom corner. Yeah, we can. Do, do, do. You could go on forever with these. Ooh. I know I've got two botanical journals I'm making, so I can use... If I use, say, three or four in each journal, that's going to be an awful lot of bigger scraps. I mean, I, when I first started junk journal, and I didn't have a lot of the kind of books you would use, I bought a lot of these packs from Etsy and eBay and, you know, where you just get, oh, 100 book pages, and you're like, wow, and they come, and then half of them are just single pages, and it's, it can be difficult to incorporate into a journal just by folding it over and sticking it in. So, yeah, I've just got far too many of those in my life, and that's where some of these came from. Right. So that is another Franken page done. Right, I've got this one. This one ain't going to take much doing, is it? I think I want that all on one page. So I'm just going to cut down this edge. Yeah, we've lost a little bit of it, but not too much. And then I'm just going to extend this part of page that page I think that's very stretched is it no I'll just take the yeah so I didn't need trimmer again yeah I'm happy with that right what have I got here an Egyptian dictionary get your glue thing back my desk's just it's all descended into chaos ain't it 
It's chaos everywhere. Oh, ooh, that's better, but it's got roots. Tell you what, they're not really big roots that look like spiders. So, do you know what? This one's going to be very easy. If I use that, isn't it? It's, is that clover or shamrock? I'm not sure. It won't tell me on back because it's a different plant. Right. Yeah, this is going to be the easiest one ever. We're just basically gluing two pages together. Use my that to know if that's straightish. That's straightish, that'll do us. Yeah. So I just really now want something to make a top. Is that digital paper? Yeah, so I don't want to use that. I want to use some book page. I think that uh, packet that I tipped out has got a bit of all sorts in, hasn't it? Mm, that looks good. That's, it's not card, it's not paper, I think it's about, I don't know what that is. I don't need that much of it there though, so I can rip some of that off and use that on something else. I think I might be off bottom at the camera here. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to use that. So I'll just glue around that edge, glue around that edge. And we should have a page. There we go. This one might need a bit of trimming, but I'm not too bothered. Yeah, I'm going to fold this one and find where its centre is, ready for trimming down. Right. I hope it's not too wide. There we go. So that's going to be my spine. And we'll trim all edges down just a smidgen. Because I also want to get that little bit trimmed down. If you don't mind it being really rough and ready, you don't have to trim. I've got to have a little bit of organisation in it. It's going to be a little. At least I'm not measuring. Yeah. Only people who measure. Only people who've got too much time on their hands measure now. That's the new one. So if you catch me measuring it next video, don't remind me of that because I might have forgot. Right, that is that's very simple. Both sides are pretty. There's room to do anything you want on that side. So that's that. So how many have we done so far? We've finished that one together and we've done two others. I'm a happy bunny with those. Let's do one more. Right, I might want to use this. Uh, yeah, what is it? Egyptian Dictionary. So I'm going to fold that one over. Bring me, I keep moving this out of the way while it dries. It dries pretty quick. And what have we got? Got a bit of tea dyed paper. Should we make one with some smaller bits and then cover some joins with wash it? Yeah, I think I will. Right, bit of glue there. There. It's very wonky, but it'll straighten up at some point. We'll cover it with some of it. Stick a flower on it. What's that? Geese. Do you know, I've decided to do want some sideways book page on just because I can. So glue there and down there. I have to keep reminding me or help myself I'll forget. That right, that will right. And make yourself a sort of a corner. I've no idea how how idea how big this it's gonna be a, a narrower one again. But we can always extend it by sticking something else on if we want to. If when you get it in your journal you decide you want to extend it. You can do it easy after. You'll not know there's been a join. Oh, what's that? I have a feeling that came out of a 
for your creative studio kit. Oh, we've got the other mushrooms. More mushrooms. I probably took these out intending to fussy cut them at some point in my life and it never happened. Hmm. Let's have the mushrooms at the top. I mean, he's creased, but we're not going to throw up mushroom out with bath water, are we? Then I'll have a bit of that. I think I'll like that better if it's ripped, actually. Now it's <laughs> now it's probably going to be too narrow. We'll stick some else on, won't we? We will. And what's this? Yeah, so these weren't even book pages. And they're still working. So I'm just going to glue that on. Miss the edge. I can pull that out quite a bit more. I do like the opposite pages in my journals, mostly to be roughly the same width. I just think it keeps your journal even more even. Look at that, we've got a bit there without enough glue on. So we'll just come back in and glue it. There we go. Jobs are good and right. Shrooms. I want. I keep tearing these mushrooms up, don't I? It's like, no, we're not going to get all the mushrooms in. I'm aware I'm talking rubbish today. There we go. It's more of a craft with me, isn't it, this one? I mean, I can tell you in two minutes flat how to make one of these. And now we're just doing it, aren't we? We're just making them. What else have we got here? I like that. Oh, that'd be nice at the bottom instead of that other one. Yeah. So we've just changed our mind about what's going at the bottom. And do you know what? I'm going to place it so that we can cut the corner off and make it square. There we go. We need something on there. We could use one of the thinner dictionary pages and fold it over. If I can find one. I know I've got a few of those hanging about. Grab your scrap box, woman. Are they in there? Here's the scrap, scrap box. Ooh, some nice stuff in here. I could literally spend about a week making these pages and not run out of paper. That one's quite thin. We've got some rather thin music. Oh, that's very thin music paper. Let's use some of that. That's never made it into anything because it's a bit old and fragile. Ooh, yeah. How easy it tears when it's this old. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take a strip of that. Wow, that does tear easily. And I'm going to pop it there. So if I use my glue on the back of that. There we go. It's like we're, repa we're repairing a tear in a page. Then I'll turn that over. I'm going to tear some more of that off. Because that's all bitty. And we'll glue this bit down. That's it. Probably not straight that bit, but who, who's here to tell me off for that? No one. The perpendicular police aren't coming, are they? Right, I'm going to give that one a little trim now. This one, you know, I know it's going to be too tall. So I think I'm just going to trim it about there. We trim that about there. Perhaps don't even need to trim the top, but I'm going to. There we go. Do it with your scissors as well if you a braver woman than me. We'd probably have a page size or a postage stamp left. That's just reminded me that I'm going to decorate this one. And one of the things I got out to decorate was postage stamps. 
these are just ones that I've bought these in packs again from eBay or Etsy yonks ago. Oh, I like that one. That's going to go there. So to say I weren't going to decorate them, I haven't done bad, have I? They just look a bit boring <laughs> until you've got some on them. Yeah. That's obviously a UK stamp because it's got uh, the Queen on. Yeah. Our poor old Queenie. Well, sure not poor, was she? I can't resist that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she's, yeah, she has passed away, hasn't she? Which is quite sad. Yeah, I'm not a raging royalist, but I do like the monarchy. I think they have the place, and I think... Oh, there she is. Let's pop her on. 90th birthday. Wowzer. That seems like so long ago now. My kids... Was it Jubilee on 90th birthday when school gave kids some mugs? With Queen's face on. You can go there. Now we need something a bit botanical, don't we? What's that? Horses. Horse racing. Ooh, what's this one? I don't think I've got any that are really botanical. I like the colour of that, though. That's the queen through the years. Yeah. Some of these pages I've chosen for corners are rather thin. Use your glue book, woman. That's what you got it for. I'll just remind myself then. You know, like your you, you, you kids a sandwich, stand up. And they won't eat. <laughs> Off a plate. Plate gets left somewhere else. You're like, you've got a plate, use it. Yes, you've got a glue book, use it. Oh, the lad next door's none too happy about something. Maybe he's been asked to come in for his tea. Right. There we go. It's enough stamps. Do you know, because I said stamp, I'm like, ooh, I got some stamps out. I've got to use them. What's that? I don't know, but it looks nice. I think we've got enough stamps on that page. Pop them away. Right, what I am going to do is I'm then going to put a few of these botanical stickers on. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, I like that one. Well, I can just tuck that behind that stamp because it's not quite dried right. Let's see if we can get this off. Oh yeah, that does work. Who would have thunk it? Now it's all rolled up and stuck to itself. That's I forgot. To, <laughs> I forgot to use my little method. So it's not going to tuck in there anymore because it's just not. There we go. I like that. I think that one needs to go there now. Remember this time, woman. There you go. Yeah, if you've not seen it before, this is what I like to do. I cut just a little bit of the backing off. There we go. And then I can put my sticker where I want it. So the bit with no backing sticks, and then you can just flip the rest up to remove the backing. <laughs> it stops them curling up on you, because they don't half curl up on me. Right, let's bone fold those. There we go. Right. I've no idea how long this video's been, but... I think you're getting the hang of this. Let's put a little bit more on here. I do wish I'd found a mushroom sticker. I will have some somewhere, but where is anyone's guess? You know when you're in the middle of sorting out how you store, store stuff? Yeah, it, it's, oh, it's you just shouldn't do it, should you? Store things in a different place because I want to go to where they were before. That's pretty. And they're not there anymore, but yet I can't remember where they are now. Yeah. Don't move stuff unless you really have to. That's the moral of that story, woman. Oh, I like that one there. Flowers next to the queen. I mean, you can stamp on these. You can do anything to these pages. 
You can do anything to one of these Franken pages that you would do to a, any journal page. I've made a right fluff up of that one, haven't I? There we go. I've sorted it out. There you go. All's well that ends well. That's what they say, isn't it? Get rid of your plastic bits. Got a bit stuck under Queen. You don't want to be sand plastic for all eternity. Eee. Right. I'm going to leave that one there. Bring the others back in. So, wow. One, two, three, four. We've got five there. I've already got one inside my journal. So, I've now got three for each botanical journal that I'm making. And that's enough. So, bring the journal back. Don't lose that. Which one have I already got? That one. So let's choose two others. I think I do like that one we've just done. I might have that and then I want one of the plainer, wider ones. I'll use that one because that one is looking a little bit too tall. I like that flip out on there. I really do. So we've got those three for my other botanical journal. And those two for this one. So is that one too tall? No, that one will be fine. We can put this wider one somewhere near at front at journal as well. Thinking maybe there. Yeah. That. I like that. That does look nice there, doesn't it? Next to that other botanical page. And we've got one more. I think I'll put this even near at front. So we've got a shorter page. Maybe between those two. Two, two, two. That. Yeah. So there we have it. They look so nice once they're in your journal. Even without anything else done to them. So where did the next one go? There it is. I quite like that. There we go, and you can put anything on the back of there, any piece of ephemera you've made. Let's grab one. What have we got? Here we go, what's this? This is a random pocket. Oh, look at that. Didn't even know I had that. Could stick that to it, anything. Where's the last one? There it is. So yeah, we've got three very interesting pages there for that botanical journal. And I've got three for my next one. So I hope you enjoy look at state of my desk. I hope you enjoyed that little impromptu video. I'd not really planned one for today. I think I need to do this more often. If you think I need to do this more often, let me know in comments. Just switch the camera on and film whatever mess I happen to be doing at the time. Yeah? So yeah let me know and yeah, you may see more of me you may not so yeah i'm going now because i've got into real rambly waffly mode so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye